Welcome to Rick's Corner, brought to you by Old School Labs, the brand I trust and the only one I put my name to. Use my code, Drayson12, on the link below. Rick's Corner, the man, the myth, the legend, now on with the show. Good afternoon. Well, it's Mother's Day and it's kind of quiet. My mother's been gone for 10 years, so I don't have really anybody to spend Mother's Day with. But uh, I'm filling the time with stuff I have to do around here on my computer and doing logos for people that have ordered them. And I was thinking about, a lot of you want to hear old time stories and I probably have tons of them and sometimes I forget them. And then I remember them and I want to talk about them. So you had asked me what it was like back in the 70s. Give me another story. And so here's another story on a Sunday. Of course, Saturday night we would all go out. We'd go to the marina. And the marina in Del Rey in, in, near Venice has a lot of dancing bars, a lot of clubs. They were did at the time. And they'd get hundreds of people in there. And this is where we'd go to hang out and we'd meet dates, you know, or we'd meet somebody new and maybe go on a date. And we had a good time because they weren't used to bodybuilders like I used to say. They had no idea where we came from. You know, we were from the Planet Muscle or wherever they thought. But then the next day we come around on Sundays and that's kind of a lazy day. So we would all get down to the gym about 9, 10 in the morning, work out. Um, it just Sunday was a good day to train. It was just like one of those days where you just felt like working out. And then we head down to the beach to the weightlifting pit, which was completely different back in those days. You didn't get the crowds that you get today or the tourists. You got the locals. You had the local uh, couple of help homeless people, but they were all friends of ours. Then you had the uh, Germans restaurant for the eight egg omelet or seven egg omelet for $1.35. And this is where we'd hang out and lay out in the sun. They'd bring some water down to lay out and get a tan. And then we'd get up and take a walk down to the beach and jump in the waves and run down the sand underneath the pier and back again and come back and lay out again. Then we had a friend of ours who would work out with us and he liked to make ice cream. So he brought down a gallon of ice cream that he would make homemade ice cream. And he'd share it with all of us. Then we'd sit around and eat it and laugh and talk and tell jokes and just, just hang out like a group of friends. It was like a bunch of high school friends. That's what we felt like. Well, we'd stay there till about two, three, four o'clock and then we decided to get dressed. Um, and headed up back down to the marina because on Sundays they had about four o'clock a happy hour. Not that we were drinking, but they would come out with big plates, uh, waiters with big dishes full of chicken legs or chicken wings, I guess. And we would go down and eat our warm up protein snack before dinner. So we'd grab those plates and we'd eat them and we'd go sit down and we'd get another one when it came out. And nobody else in the restaurant would get any chicken because we ate it all. No, we didn't care. We were laughing, having fun. We, what do we know? We're just young guys having a good time. So that was um, pretty much the way the Sunday fell. We never went back to the gym in the afternoon, but later on a few of us would get dressed, take a shower, and then maybe go over to Chuck's Steakhouse on Malibu. I believe it was my short house in Malibu, and have a steak dinner. They had a teriyaki steak dinner with rice and a baked potato and a salad bar for like four ninety five. if you can imagine that. You know, it was a good time. We had good workouts on Sunday. We picked a body part that maybe we wouldn't do during the week and just hit it really hard and inspired each other to train hard and do what we had to do. I want to say that back in those days when you wanted to really gain muscle, you, you really did train hard. We went heavy and we ate a lot of food and that was the key to getting the size that we got. I mean, it really definitely worked. And as you guys know, as you get older, you write me a lot that you can't train like you used to because you have injuries and I have them too and um, you lose your desire to go heavy, but you can still get, pretty good, get a pretty good workout with a medium to a light weight. Not a light weight, I don't like real light, but a medium weight. But that was our Sundays. It was always something new going on. We always had new people at the beach to hang out with. Uh, everybody had a story to tell because we had people that worked out with us from all over the world and they would come down and just hang out with us. And you don't see that anymore. And it's, it's just one of those times that, you know, if you lay down on the sand, you could hear the roar behind you of the people talking. You could hear the roar of the waves and you feel the wind passing over you, kind of a cool wind with the smell of the ocean and the heat of the sun. And I'm telling you, you can't find that anywhere. That was, that was something else. But I wanted to share that. I thought you guys would enjoy that. It was just our Sundays, the way we spent them. And then it was off to a new day on Monday. 
and I'll get back with more later. I hope you enjoyed that little story. It was kind of fun. Bye bye. Hope you enjoyed the video brought to you by Old School Labs. Use my discount code Grayson12 on the link below at OldSchoolLabs.com. Hey everyone, now you can have the Gold's Gym logo drawn by me, the artist Rick Drayson, personalized and made out to you and signed by me to frame and put on your gym wall or wherever you see fit to do so. It's a piece of bodybuilding history. It will never be duplicated again. It's the largest selling icon t-shirt logo in the world. And I'm the guy that drew it. And I will draw it for you. Just go to my website, rickdrayson.com and order there. You can pay through PayPal and it'll be sent out right away. And be sure to watch Rick's Corner for all the videos on bodybuilding, nutrition, fitness, pro wrestling, and anything that suits your interests as far as getting physically fit and being the best you can be from the golden era of bodybuilding. Baby, see you next time.